Hello, I'm Ryan Sloan, and thank you for joining us today. Today, we're talking about the new digital wireless system from Sennheiser, aptly named the Evolution Wireless Digital System, or EWD for short. In this video, I'm literally going to tell you everything that you need to know about the system and answer all your burning questions. But remember, you can always send any additional questions to me at hello at thegearcage.com. And I'll even help you build your wireless system if you need help with that. Sennheiser is a great company. In fact, my primary shotgun microphone that I'm using right now is the Sennheiser MKH416. I really love their products. Uh, anyway, we'll get back on topic. You'll find links to everything that I talk about in the notes below. And let's get to it. So if you've been doing sound for a while, you probably come across digital wireless systems before. They've actually been around for over 15 years in various forms. Uh, digital wireless systems offer the promise of more pristine audio compared to their analog counterparts. Uh, it's more like using a wired microphone with a cable, but with the benefits of being wireless. Uh, however, many of the early digital wireless systems utilize the 2.4 gigahertz or 900 megahertz band, which operationally could create some problems in certain situations. The Sennheiser Evolution Digital Wireless System utilizes traditional frequencies to bypass those issues. In fact, each system has a pretty massive tuning range of 56 megahertz. That's a ton of spectrum space to try to fit each wireless microphone into. Uh, that techno speak basically means whether you need five microphones or 50 microphones for your application, the Sennheiser digital wireless system should work well for you. Uh, this also means you'll be able to use the system with confidence, whether you're in New York, in Miami, or LA, and other big cities, as well as smaller cities, of course, uh, with confidence with those large channel counts and the pristine audio quality, all at a really affordable price. In fact, these systems, as kind of shown here with um, the E835 microphone capsule and the transmitter body and the receiver is only $699. Now let's take a closer look at the EWD receiver. It looks and feels great. Uh, it has one of the best screens in this class of wireless gear, thanks to the OLED display. And it feels extremely well built. I honestly can't get over how sharp and nice the screen is to work with. I actually much prefer it over the Shure SLX-D system. The front of the receiver will display all sorts of information like your radio frequency levels, uh, otherwise known as RF levels. Uh, that shows you how strong the connection to the receiver is from the transmitter. The front will also show you the audio level coming in under the AF section and what channel the system is on and also the gain level as well as the battery level on the transmitter. So really a bird's eye view of everything that you need to know on the front of the receiver. To the right of the screen, you'll find buttons that let you interact with all of those settings. Uh, you have an up and down button to scroll through and change value parameters, as well as a set button to interact with the settings and an escape button to leave the current screen you're on or uh, cancel any changes. Your sync button will sync a wireless transmitter with the receiver, and then you have a power button. On the back of the receiver, you'll see your antenna inputs. You can use the supplied antenna with the unit or use an antenna distribution system. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. And uh, you also have an XLR output you can use for going to your mixer or recorder directly. And next to that, you'll find a quarter inch balanced or unbalanced output. 
And typically, you're going to use this one for hooking up an instrument wireless directly into your amplifier. And lastly, you'll find the DC power input. Now, let's examine the transmitters. The body pack transmitter is used for lavalier microphones or headset microphones or plugging your instrument into the system. The body pack transmitter is built like a Panzer tank, so it will definitely take some abuse, whether it's on the road or just at a venue. And it's beautifully elegant as well as lightweight. You'll find the antenna and the sync button and the mute switch on it, uh, as well as the input plug. Then on the side of the transmitter, you'll find buttons that you can press in to get access to the battery compartment. And that's literally it. Uh, it does take double A batteries. And just like the handheld transmitter uh, or the BA70 rechargeable lithium ion batteries. And I'll talk about that a little later as well. The handheld SKM transmitter is a thing of beauty. It's actually lighter than other handheld transmitters, but it feels so smooth and solid. So um, I really do enjoy the feel of it. It actually feels pretty good even compared to previous Sennheiser models. And you'll find the majority of the controls on the microphone um, on the bottom of it actually. The power button is on the bottom with the power icon and the unmarked button across from it is the sync button that you use to pair it with a receiver. It also has two LED lights in the middle the top blue light is the data light, which tells you if data is being transmitted. And the bottom uh, green light tells you if there is a link between the transmitter and the receiver. Next, the microphone has a mute switch on the side, right here. And at first glance, it seems like a power switch, but this is actually a sliding switch, which makes muting and unmuting easy. Um, that way you could theoretically mute the mic by accident, but at least you can't really turn off the microphone by accident. And uh, I think this was a really good dis design decision because a lot of companies use the push buttons for mute functionality, which can accidentally get depressed. But this one, you literally have to slide it down in order to mute the microphone. The last thing to talk about is the microphone capsule itself. Did you know that they're modular? That means that you can change the sound and the pickup pattern of the microphone dramatically just by getting different microphone capsules. The 900 series Sennheiser capsules are always a great choice. And you can also add a Neumann KK205 capsule if you want to get the iconic sound of the Neumann KMS-105 handheld microphone, which is one of my all-time favorite live vocal microphones. Or you can even get an SC Electronics V7 capsule for a stellar price to add that to your collection as well. I think they're about $120 to $129 for those right now. I'm going to put the KK205 capsule link below, as well as the link for the SE Electronics capsule, so you have them handy. Uh, what about charging? Okay, so Sennheiser has a rechargeable battery solution for the Evolution wireless digital system. This is one of the most common things that gets asked for. It's called the EWD charging set. You get a dual USB-C powered battery charger with two batteries, all for just $149. It's actually a screaming deal compared to other options from other companies. And the batteries are rated to give you up to 12 hours of uh, longevity as well. So this is a must-have addition to the purchase if you're using these microphones on a regular basis and don't want to crank through batteries. Next, let's talk about the Evolution Wireless Digital Smart Assist. Are you ready for this? Sennheiser has made the wireless microphone setup process insanely easy with the Smart Assist app. Check this out. You can quickly sync a microphone and check wireless performance status. You can lock the receiver and you can lock the mute button. You can see battery status and you can even have quick access to setup diagrams and the manual itself. 
everything else about the system is great, but this actually might be what makes it go over the edge and turns it into the killer app. Especially if you aren't used to setting wireless microphone systems up like this, it's kind of a game changer. Next, let's talk about the antenna distribution system. If you're going to be running a lot of wireless systems, it's always a good idea to get an antenna distribution system. It does a few things for you, actually. One, it actually provides power to your receivers. Think about that. You can save yourself countless power supply uh, plugs and wall warts plugged into your equipment rack. That alone is pretty huge. But the second thing it does is condense the amount of antennas you use. It's actually not great to have all the antennas next to one another as it can cause potential issues with reliability and dropouts. So by getting a Sennheiser Evolution Wireless Digital Antenna Splitter Kit, you can hook up many, many units and actually run them all off of a pair of quarter wave, half wave, or even the Sennheiser ADP UHF directional antennas. All right, let's wrap everything up. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you did learn a lot about the Sennheiser Evolution wireless digital systems. If you're looking for a new wireless system for your band or your school or church or company, this is probably the one you want to go with right now, especially amidst the supply chain shortages that other companies are running into. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please do leave them in the comments below or send me an email and I'll be happy to assist. Again, my name is Ryan Sloan for The Gear Cage and thanks so much for watching.